time to reassess expectations. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Jose here, as usual, welcoming you back to another episode of Amazing Worlds in this very hot summer's night eve, talking about Summer's Night by Jim Butcher, which is book four in the Dresden Files series, uh, which I am reading as and when I feel like it, to be honest. So what have we got here? We have a continuation of the events that um, we left Harry Dresden in book three. So after the whole palaver with the court of vampires and the werewolves and everything that happened in book three, here we are right in the aftermath. Harry is wanted by the court of vampires. They are pining for his blood, quite literally and metaphorically. He is guilty of stuff. They want him dead. The court of wizards, they don't like Harry. They are quite willing to hand him over and, you know, be left alone and not get involved in vampire business. However, however, issues in the world of fairy, in the fairyland, there's a battle going on between the fairies and the wizards need safe passage. Some mysterious attractive woman asks Harry to find out who killed someone that stole something that is a mystery, what they stole, and Harry can say no. So the plot moves a breakneck pace every ending of every chapter, Harry is being attacked by some new creature, by some new entity, long lost girlfriends come back, are they dead, are they no, are they betraying him, are they no, it's all happening. It's undeniable that Butcher can spin a yarn and keep you really engaged and interested. And the way I see the Dresden Files are sort of palette cleansers between other books which is something that I was feeling about. And then I was watching a conversation between Chas from Book is Chas and Baron from Your Brain and Books. And, and Chas mentioned that, and I totally agree with him. I don't particularly rate these novels, but they're good entertainment uh, in between deeper, bigger series. Now, highly entertaining, like I said. However, it is not without, without its issues but I think the issues may reside with me. Problem is, the way I envisioned, I envisaged Dresden Files was kind of a, a more sort of hard-boiled noir crime kind of stories with a sprinkle of magic to keep things interesting, new and engaging. But they really aren't. Um, either Jim Butcher is not very good at writing a crime thriller, or he actually doesn't want to do that, and maybe Harry isn't actually a detective. He is a wizard, he advertises himself in this parallel, wherever, urban Chicago that Butcher has created as a wizard, not as a detective, but, it's, but the books are full of the crime 30s noir tropes. The femme fatales, the down on his luck, broken, um, broken, broke, uh, detective, and all that, all that sort of thing. It's just a kind of Maltese Falcon type stuff. So that's what I envision in my head. But Harry can't solve a crime to save his life. And the recurring cliche in these stories is that in every single book I've read so far, which is only four, Harry has to resort to some sort of otherworldly entity, has to perform some summoning spell to bring some, like I said, or the world entity spirit to tell him what is actually going on because he doesn't know what's going on and it's some kind of perhaps clever way of doing exposition and info dump on the reader through Harry but Harry is not a very good detective he doesn't know what's going on and in this book here the whole suspense bit, who's done the murder and why and what for and what the reasons are. Maybe I'm too stupid. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't see it coming. Is it, maybe the clues were there. I didn't pick on them. I don't know. But maybe, perhaps, that's not the point of these books. Uh, the, the overall plot of the series seems to be getting more convoluted. 
it looks like potentially we're moving to a major confrontation and conflict between the vampires and the werewolves and the wizards. Um, so that's all right. I mean, no rush to read them at all. But on each in each book individually, there is very little sort of that sort of crying thing I was looking for. A more of a roller coaster, non-stop thriller type thing. That's that's maybe what the books are, and maybe. I should have adjusted or I should adjust my expectations now and um, leave it at that. So, entertaining for sure. Would I pick following books again? Certainly. Long series? Absolutely. It's not finished and apparently it's planned to be like 25, 27 books. It would probably take me five or seven years to read them all because I cannot see myself picking one after the other. I can't. Allegedly, book 10 or book 12 is really good and fantastic, so some people say, but I'm in no rush at all to get there. I may pick another Dresden Files book this year at some point, maybe, certainly one next year, but I've got other plans, I've got other ideas in mind that I'll be talking about in my next video when I do my six-month, half-year uh, checkpoint review thing. Um, which will be by the end of June next week, hopefully. So until then, thank you ever so much for watching. Everyone, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know your take. If you ever feel like you're going to get in touch, have a live conversation, live discussion, I'm always, or I try to be, as available as possible to engage in exchange of opinions and ideas, particularly if we disagree on something. Um, I'll leave my Instagram and email in the description below. Take loads and loads of care and I'll see you soon. Bye.